What's up guys back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys my top five advanced styles in Project Baki 2. Okay, so first we're going to start off with hand pocket and I'm going to explain some things to you first before um, I tell you why. First, I'm going to explain that if you would like to get hand pocket, uh, just make sure that you reach the following requirements. Um, I'm currently finding them and it is not sharing them. Well, well, never mind. I see it. Okay. So here are the requirements. Uh, currently, there are three abilities, and the requirements are 105 strength, 95 durability, 95 agility, 45 intellect, and a you need to be of 85 levels. So you need 85. Now, I bet you're probably wondering why is this in advanced here? Well, wouldn't it be, or wasn't it in your top five beginner? Yes, but I still would uh, say it is in advanced because once you learn how to use it, it's like really, really good. I think it can. It can beat people with Yujiro. And Pocket can beat someone using Yujiro. Because something that you're able to do is with your counter and you having these kicks right here. Uh, these clicks. Oh, basically swift attack. You having swift attack in the counter will allow you just to stand in the same spot. Unless they have something where they can throw projectiles or just throw anything or shoot anything. If they don't have that then they can't hit you or they can't hurt you because literally all you have to do is if someone just runs up to you let's say they're behind me right if i can see them of course you know be out like this if i probably wouldn't be in this much i'd probably be in like this if i see them dash towards me pop it and then turn around and they just automatically get hit into it and then same with just standing still they run up to you pop pop the counter real quick and then they get hit by the counter so it allows you to have a variety of moves and then you still have consecutive kicks that you can use after you like put them in in one combo you can use that after and then you have this move where you can run up on them and pop this and then they're stunned for a bit and you can m1 them so this overall i would say is a really 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 good advanced style especially for like let's say if you're first starting the game you should be able to at least get level 80 in two days maybe Unless you look grind very hard, then maybe a day and a half, maybe. So, yeah, I really think that is very possible to do that. But uh, this would be number one on my list. Um, probably not going to make sense to you guys once I add the other styles as well. But this will be my number one. Alright, okay, so now for my second one. Second on my list would be Jeet Kune Do. And first of all, I'm going to go ahead and explain the requirements. Your requirements are to kill 21 karate students students with Mitsuki basically uh, one inch punch so I'm gonna thoroughly explain this so that you don't get confused uh, when you're going to all right, I have the move so we're just gonna run over to the karate students how this is supposed to be done you don't just like keep spamming it over and over you don't spam the um, one inch punch over and over again what you have to do is get the karate students low to the point where a uh, one inch punch is able to one tap them. So you gotta make sure you have them at least at the right amount of health. I think for me it was like almost two and one combos that I have or three. So uh, I'm gonna try and do it for you guys. That's a bit of lag. Um, and I think one and one combo. And that should be enough. You gotta time it perfectly. And I did not. And as you can see, that resulted in me in having to wait 10 seconds and for him to run around and chase me. So, yeah, just make sure you time it right. That is the best. worst part about, I think, getting it is that you have to time it right or they will beat you up. Um, okay, I kind of just let that happen. But, yeah, as you can see, it keeps breaking it. But, yeah, two M1s killed him anyway. But all right, I'm going to go ahead and show you the requirements. Well, that was one of the requirements, but this is what you'll have to. Um, other than that, this is what you'll have to do to be able to use it or get it. 
350 strength, 420 durability, 350 agility, 250 intellect, and you need to be level 400. Now, I'm going to go ahead and set this. Probably should have said it in my first one is these are the requirements to get the style, not the moves. The requirement to get the moves will always be more than the requirement to get the style. So, for example, um, I, I don't have an example, so I can't necessarily say that. Uh, but yeah, so again, I'm going to explain why I think it deserves my second spot. Is because G can do is very hard to not die from. You, you if you find someone that is using Jeet Kune Do, you will more than likely die. And I'll explain why. First off, they have the crippling move, which literally allows you to ragdoll someone. So you just M1 and them got them in a nice M1 combo. And then if you already have de decent uh -huh, M1 damage, the cripple move is even worse. For example, I'm going to go over here to this slug and try it out on him. And show you guys. Okay. For example, uh, this is what it allows you to do. So you got him in a nice M1, right? Oh, I didn't actually hit him with that. Wow. But yeah, basically you'd have him in a nice M1. I'm going to go ahead and kill this one. Use one inch punch. Oh, I, I just literally just punched him that time. But uh, it has cooldowns, but at the same time, if you're really good at M1ing and you're not just like move based, like you just really don't need moves to win a fight, you should be fine. But if you're fighting someone that just uses moves like crazy, uh, that kind of sucks. But all right, so we're going to go ahead and come over here. As you can see, you can still M1 them, and then it allows you to get a whole nother M1 combo off. M1, one inch punch, they're dead. These are my stats, by the way. But as you can see, very effective, especially in combat, because I'm going to go ahead and show you guys one move that is just off the charts. Okay, so move and i'm out of the m1 combo you can you can do that with sam as well you can do that with jack frost for if you're fighting someone with jack frost you can't get out of their combo using that and then you get this kick he's dead but they basically someone running at you or you're running away you can use that hit them they get ragdoll and you can keep running that's if someone's messing with you but um yeah you can literally do that this style is so fun to use for the simple fact that it's kind of like fight back. It's literally it's giving fight back activity just from you using it. So yeah, ah, uh, that's why it got my second place. Now on to the third one. All right, next up coming up on my number three would be Tai Chi. And if you would give me a second, I will tell you the requirements of Tai Chi. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start state off that Tai Chi is very 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 fun to use but it, it can cost i mean like a lot for example if you don't do that much damage tai chi it it's okay but it may not be good good for you at pvp now for uh grinding it is really good because it has a move that enables your or disables your opponent's um hard like attacks and what i mean by that is it makes it less damaging they don't do as much damage as they usually do with the move so first you're going to need uh how you obtain this is you need to meditate for five minutes so sadly people on mobile and pc are the only ones that are able to get this because you do need the command so just slash e med and you just be like this for five minutes i just set a five minute timer waited a few seconds and then boom i got it and I was able to get it. So first off, I'm going to go ahead and go show you the moves up here. The first move, just amazing, of course, the Chi Blocker. And, of course, your arm glows up as the color that you have. And then, of course, the M1s. The M1s are also really good as well. Then you have the second move. It hits you. That one does, just, like, a lot of damage. And then you have the Kick. And I'm... Okay, no, the kick is, uh, um, you do have the M1 and use the kick. I thought it was a flying kick, like, um, uh, G-Kun do. And then the last move is actually a move I really like. It's actually a stop, a stomp. So if they try to run up to you, do something, you can just do that. They may might dash back, so it may make them dash back, and then you'll have in lag, and they'll M1 you. You just have to think about if it's the right thing to do in the situation. 
but this has my third spot because again it like the other style you can do this is fun to use and it's kind of like the definition of fight back especially against someone that um has some very powerful m1 so you can just hit them up with this and then of course chi blocker blocks their chi they don't do that much damage oh my friend james is here but yeah tai chi would have my third spot and yeah let's move on to the next one all right coming number fourth on the list would be athlete style now uh why i would say athlete style is because again fight back activity do not fight someone that is rarely good with m1s just based off m1s just don't don't fight them athlete style is not the right style for example i'm going to go over here and I'm going to go to, hmm, which one closer? Would it be the karate students? Mm, probably not, but I'm still going to go with the karate prison. I meant um, karate uh, students. So, basically, this is how this style is completely, it is beyond the normal style. Now, you may think, oh, uh, Linoli has really two good moves. And you're right. Well, not necessarily. It actually has all the moves are good. But, yeah. Basically, you can't do anything. I'm healing, right? I'm just healing. You may be coming to fight me. Now I can backdash M1, M1. And then I, I would have slapped you, but it didn't work. But, yeah. And then, also, this is the best for grinding bosses or anything. But, yeah. Your M1s do a lot of damage. It's really amazing but yes the one move where you put them to sleep you can literally heal yourself heal your teammates anything like that you possibly have like different families like uh right here you can have uh different families i'm in the dojima but basically let's say y'all having a war or something you can heal your friends or put the enemy to sleep you know i'm gonna try to do this slap again because it didn't work i want you to see how effective this slap is they literally get racked all again. So yes, this is very good with bosses. You put them to sleep, you can go behind them. If I had mo more moves, then you could have possibly made an infinite combo with it. But oh, god. But yeah, this style is really, really advanced. It's really, really different from anything else. And the um cooldowns are very low. And um basically, if I'm let's say my health is like right here, I'm almost half if I heal myself that's how powerful it is so this is the reason why i got my fourth spot i'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys the requirements of it oh, but yeah all around this is just amazing it's amazing style and i'm actually very happy they added it and when i first got it i was just like wow i thought it was gonna be a lot different like uh, a lot strong. like at first i really didn't like the style like i liked it because of the moves the two moves but i didn't really feel powerful using it I kept using it now I like it but this is how you get it now this will probably make you guys feel bad because I mean it kind of sucks the requirements but here we go you need to buy a medical book that costs 1 million yen trust me it's not that hard to get it is but it isn't and then second you need 300 strength 350 durability 350 agility 400 intellect and level 350 to be able to get the style remember not the moves all the moves you can get some of the moves i'm pretty sure you should be able to but as far as style wise those are the requirements to get the style so without further ado i'm gonna move on to my last uh advanced style so yeah here we go okay last on my list i'm going to have to put retsu ball and kimpo retsu style i don't care what anyone tells me it is OP. I think this was like the first style I got when I graduated from the beginner styles. This was literally the first, first thing I got. And I was maining this thing and killing people like crazy. No one could tell me anything. I was kind of a noob, but no one could tell me anything. First off, I'm going to start off with the requirements. 250 strength, 200 durability, 200 agility, 150 intellect, and level 200. And you will need to learn the Kung Fu style first, which I'm pretty sure you should be able to get that if you're already level 200. And you need to defeat the Ratsu boss. He's not really that hard, honestly. Just have two people can beat him. Possibly one person can actually beat him. And uh, now, for the explanation of why, um, 
it's last on my list is because I mean the first move is the one inch punch the M1s are very good but the M1 punch that does not do a lot of damage the barrage would be what does a lot of damage you know I'm very excited about the barrage because literally you can M1 but I think that slow start off would be very bad okay you were just all right I just got disconnected I'm still gonna explain everything though but the barrage has a low start off they can move out of the way sometimes they can sometimes they can't but that's still saying no because they can move out of the way and then the last move is he just literally spits at you kind of I forgot what it was that he was spitting at you but yeah he just spits at you I think his hair I'm not sure but he spits at you that can blind you so if you want to irritate someone hit him with that and then just keep him wanting them and running away but yeah, that would be why that's on my last list. Still, it's advanced and it's still very, very good if used correctly. I'm just saying, those are some very um flaws, very bad flaws that they have that um either need to be fixed or someone can work around those. So that would be the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching. Um, if you would like more videos slash content like this, make sure you guys tell me down in the comments. And if there's any other Project Baki stuff you want me to re review, that maybe Ninja. Ninja's Foo has it or like some type of collab or something hit him up hit me up you know I'll see if I can make that happen but yeah again if there's any more Project Baki content or any other content just tell me and um I'll try to create that for you guys but yeah see you guys later peace out <laughs>